first foot on the hunting thing. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Greg. Greg, nice to meet you. You too. Welcome. Thank you. Good. How's the flight? Good. Real good. Smooth, short. Okay. Welcome uh, to Tunga. This is our first hunting trip uh, in Tanz uh, for our company, Tanzanian Air Services. And uh, we're in Utunga with our first clown, Mr. Morris. And we're happy he came uh, through with us in this COVID-19 era. And uh, we're proving beyond doubt that safety is of paramount importance. And you can do anything regardless of the challenge that you face. Keep hunting and thank you, African Sun. Yeah, welcome to Tanzania. Welcome to Utunga. Karibu sana, Karibu Tanzania. Sana. <laughs> Hello. Greg. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Yourself? I'm yeah. okay. Wherever I go, they put me clear down on the end. Right. Thank you. They know you I snow. Think my reputation. For season. <laughs> yeah. That is it. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Paul Hosley. Uh, I'm a professional hunter here in Tanzania. Uh, we are in Selu Game Reserve in the area LR3. Uh, Greg, welcome. Uh, nice to meet you. You've arrived today, I believe. Yes. And uh, looking forward for a nice hunt in this area. And we have our team here. This is our trekker, Loma. And this is our driver, Musa. Musa. And this is Johanna, also the trekker. And also we have a game scout. Yes. Yeah, Cosmos. So you're most welcome. Looks like a good crew, and when I get all the way over jet lag, things will be good. Yeah. But just shot the guns, and they were on, and uh, looking forward to a good hunt. It's a beautiful area, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Yeah, we're expecting also for Jaco to be here in, in four days' time. So yep. Yep. we'll have another extra guy in, in our team. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Morning. This is our first morning in uh, camp up here uh, in Tanzania at the Salu. And it's a calm, really nice, cool morning. You can already feel the humidity in it though, so we'll see. But it's really kind of exploring this morning, see what we can see, and quite a few things on the menu. and. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens this morning. I haven't seen nothing yet. Oh, I saw a big pile of buffalo dung there and where it took a leak here and I don't really know what it is, but they're checking her out. It's a little bit old. Fresh, but... You talking about me or no. this? No. Okay. <laughs> more hours. 
two bulls. Two bulls? Yeah, one truck is not big. This one. Mm -hmm. The other that one is decent. Decent? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a water hole here. We just check around if there's any activities. Still, it's already late now, you know, the sun is up. Oh yeah, so not much moving. Is, yeah, not much moving. So we check around the water hole here and then maybe we look for a spot. Later we can have lunch. Thank you. Ooh, that sucker's hot. <laughs> this is day two of uh, my safari and with my PH Paul here. We're uh, going out to see if we can see a reed buck or a heart of beast or maybe run into a buffalo. Hell, anything I can shoot. Yeah. But uh, we're, uh, we're, we're ready. Yeah, I hope it'll be a nice day. And I'm doing this, I got this skin so soft shit all over me. <laughs> but there are a few sets of flies, huh? Yeah. Skins you got here. If nothing else, by God, I smell good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see how the day will be. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Already I've had a couple of bubbles. But yeah. yeah, normally uh, in the dry season here we burn the grass. So we can get the new grass coming out. And also it'll be easy to see the animals because if the grass is tall, uh, you cannot see even the water when it goes into the grass. So we burn the grass so we can see the animals. And then uh, we're driving this morning over here. So we found this tree falling down, uh, caught fire, I think, last night. So we're going to remove it and get the car passed. <laughs> Water hole here, so we're gonna just walk around here and see if you can see any signs of buffalo or antelopes so we can make a plant. Okay.
Yeah, babies and females. Okay, yeah, we had a long day, nice day. We saw a lot of animals. Zebra, hartebeest, impala, wildebeest. And uh, at the end of the day here, we come across uh, two hartebeest bulls. But uh, the one was small and the other one was in front. We couldn't see, so they took off. So it's the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. So, no, it was good. I wish we'd have seen a few less animals than damn zebras and impala and wildebeest. Spooked that one bunch yeah. up pretty good. Oh, wasn't. I lucky. did spot these here too. Took me a while to get them onto them, but they could. <laughs> <laughs> Another day tomorrow. Day three today. It's day, day break light. Uh, we're heading out now for hartebeest, buffalo, and other small things. Hope the day will be good. Oh, cameraman's here already? <laughs> I must be running late. <laughs> We're giving them just a little bit to settle down, then we're going after Just squeezing the trigger. I know. <laughs> This tree yesterday was standing up, burning, and uh, they cut a bunch of branches off so we could get around it. And I said at that time, I said, I hope when that falls, it falls right. Well, it almost did. Didn't quite. It's a big tree, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But in a couple of days. And we yeah. were just talking. He wanted to know if I got an animal, if they can uh, blood it through the neck to for the Muslim customs, and I said, sure. So I hope we get to put that practice in use before very long. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen, yeah. Well, way up there, probably about four or 500 yards, spotted a couple wildebeest and some kungoni, hartebeest. It looked like there was a good bull in the bunch, too, too far to tell how good, but. I'm not too excited. This is stock number 14, but we're gonna give her a try. <laughs> but they haven't seen us. The bad thing's got them wildebeest with it. You know, it could spook everything. And the wind's not good. But other than that, it's perfect. <laughs>
facing you. You see, he's facing you. He's facing me. Yeah. That sound like it hit something? Yep. Hell, I didn't know what he had spotted. I didn't know what was going after at first. And then I spotted it through there. I think there were three of them. And uh, I was probably, what, 150 yards maybe? Probably, yeah. Uh, looking right at us at a little bit of an angle. And I give him a pretty good one, but I had to give him one more to make sure. And uh, uh, everything's been good. And as my famous thing to say, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's okay. Well, he's working on the kidneys right now. He's got the, I don't know what the, it's in that up, the tube thing there, but not much goes to waste here. They use everything up. That's We've a, got a fire going. We're gonna grill a few little steaks and hard telling what else and have a feast here. He's, he's cutting the kidneys now. He's gonna use the, the intestine, the rectum. Stuff some kidney, pieces of kidney, liver, and pieces of meat and he's making like a sausage. And then they're going to grill. A little bit of salt yeah, and grill it. Yeah. I'd rather have a piece of tenderloin. <laughs> yeah, tenderloin is for you, yeah. It's going to be on the side. Okay. Good. Good morning, Greg. How are you? Good morning. Yeah, you sleep well last night? Yes, I did. Good. Uh, this is a uh, Utunge camp. It's early morning today. Uh, we woke up and we're trying to look for some small stuff, a bush park, impala, and we're going to check for a place where we can hang a hyena bait. So yep. I think it's going to be a, a good day also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I finally got my... Uh, Lichtenstein heart of beast yesterday and uh, had a good time doing that and yeah we're gonna saw a big impala last night where it was questionable whether legally it was still time to hunt with there was plenty yeah. but we're gonna go see if we can find it and yeah uh, maybe I'll shoot one of them monster baboons and We'll see what happens. Yeah, see what, what happens today. Yeah. Right. We don't know. <laughs> but there isn't any clouds in the sky. It's going to be yeah. a hot son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We drive around uh, this morning looking for impala, zebra, or redbuck. And we see some impalas and zebras, but there was a buck there, but not uh, the size that we want. So we proceed and look for others. About day five, and 
went through a lot of country. It didn't look like Impala country, but we're looking for one. And we're gonna go for a little walk, maybe a bush buck or a Impala or something here. There's about 20 hippos out there in that lake. I don't want nothing to do with them. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna stay here and have some lunch. They're gonna go out and hang a hyena bait and build a blind, then come back in here, right? Yeah. There. Yeah. We'll go out later. I'd get out of the truck if you get out of the way. <laughs> I'll just pull the chair to the... Man, we are close. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> oh, yeah. We go out, we go hunting, look for Impala, Bushbuck, and then tomorrow, before daylight, we come and sit over here, see if we can get a hyena. Yes. I don't think I ever set this close. I could use a spear. <laughs> Pretty close to the bait and a uh, good spot. And then get one coming in and I can see it. I should be able to put the old coup de gras on it. <laughs> Just walking here, it's a nice area for Impala. Yesterday we saw a nice one here, so we're gonna try to stalk. Maybe we can see them. Maybe we was just a little too quick. They was just about there. But the problem is they've already seen us from there. So they are yeah. always nervous like that. Yeah, we, we are up this morning and uh, we are going to sit for hyena. It was quiet last night, but uh, maybe they're there. So we don't know. So it's just about a few minutes from camp. And then we wait for daylight and see what will happen. This morning to sit for hyena. The meat seems to be chewed a lot in the night so normally at this time of the day they are already gone so within the first light they, they would have been there but there's no signs so we'll try again next time. I think the damn cameraman made too much and I scared them all. <laughs> He's too tall. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, we just got in from my hyena hunt and Yako, who owns the outfit, just showed up. So we're switching trucks and going with him and uh, things are up in the air a little bit. But uh, we're uh, going to carry on with, I don't know just all who or doing what, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Well, uh, he's picking up elephant dungs. Uh, he looked for the dry ones, so we can use them for keeping away the chester flies. We have to put them on the back there in a, in a small pot or something, burn them, and the smoke will keep the flies away. find a spot where you, you can be alone because he's got a lot of females so when he's by himself then he can take a shot okay wait until he stop he's gone Okay, uh, we drove out from camp this morning and uh, we came at this far end of the concession there's a place named Serengeti but it's not the actual Serengeti National Park it's the name of this area here in Selu and uh, we came to find uh, this group of impalas with a nice smell in it and then we just got off the truck and uh, followed them for a while and then we did the hunt so uh, he got a nice trophy and uh, we all appreciate it. We put a good stock on it about three different times and uh, uh, got up there and was standing behind a couple little trees and actually hit him good so yeah. now I'm happy with him he's beautiful Oh, we just found a nice little spot. Seen a ton of animals, zebras and palas, wildebeest, I guess a buffalo. And we're gonna have a late lunch, very late. Isn't it? It's 
It's getting towards the end of the day with the rainbow behind us. We're looking for the pot of gold in it. But uh, yeah, we got an impala today. Saw a ton of game here in what they call the little Serengeti. So it's been a good day and uh, we're just trying to find the road that'll take us back to camp right now. Well, we're gonna wait till just before dawn and walk down to where they had a chunk of meat set up for a hyena and see if one happens to be there at uh, daylight that we can get a crack at. And, and after that, we'll come back here, maybe eat a little something and uh, or take it with us. And I don't know what we're looking for then. <laughs> yeah, we got here to the hyena bait and nothing. Not, not, not one hyena around here. It seems they feed uh, in the night. So you can see the the guts are hanging there. They haven't fed. They fed on the meat, but uh, still quiet. So we're going out for buffalo, uh, wildebeest, and uh, other stuff like a bush buck or something. It's a fallen tree, but not by itself. You can see the signs here, the elephant dunks. The elephant has been here in the night and he dropped his tree. Two young bulls and females. Do you have a billion dollars? Yes. Yes. Well, Greg, here we are, and uh, day eight of your safari, and finally, after all the COVID-19 challenges and <laughs> paperwork and uh, everything else that goes along with it, we uh, got the clearance to go ahead, which was all arranged, but um, just formalities, and the weekend didn't help us. But anyway, so we uh, found some good tracks yesterday. Yeah, lions is be wanting to work, and maybe a couple of leopard in between, and uh, yeah, we'll take.